What is up guys, Evil Duo Storm here today, and today I have for you a video where we're going to be going over the new system for Soul Shield Primers in Blade and Soul that is coming on Wednesday. Um, so this will be the new system coming with the Rise of the Gunslinger patch. So just a quick overview of the current system. Um, what you do is you go to the marketplace, you buy these uh, sealed critical Soul Shield Primers or whatever Soul Shield Primer you want from the marketplace, or you craft it with Soul Wardens, you go ahead and uh, equip it to your Soul Shield. So just to demonstrate it real quick, Unseal the primer, then you have to pick whichever piece you want to. So let's say I want to infuse it on my piece one. Right click on the primer, and then you need three soul stones along with some fusion powder to infuse the uh, stat onto the soul shield. So it's a really, really super simple uh, method, um, super simple process. So I'm kind of confused why they're complicating it a bit, but it's still not too bad. So instead of crafting the soul shield primers directly, what you're going to be doing instead is crafting these planks or these soul shield bases, they're called. Um, so these Soul Shield bases are then exchanged in the Dragon Express tab for the um, actual Soul Shield itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up a screenshot from the stream of that and show you that right now. So as you can see right here, we have the uh, same exact primers we were able to purchase from the Marketplace, except now you just have to exchange a Soul Shield base from them. So we can get all the way from Artisanal to Masterwork Soul Shields. I got the Masterwork Soul Shields coming up on the next image. But um, anyway, so it's the same exact ones we're used to. Same exact process after you purchase it, except now instead of crafting it directly, all you got to do is craft the bases and uh, exchange those for the Soul Shields here. So now what I'm going to do in the next part of the video is for newer players that haven't um, seen this before to go ahead and upgrade the shields. The process is exactly the same. So I'll just run to the bank real quick to show you how to put a Soul Shield on in case you have no idea what you're doing and you've never done it before. So we will uh, run over to the bank and uh, pick up some Soul Stone Crystals and some Fusion Powders. So Soul Stone Crystals, Fusion Powders, go to the inventory and then you go ahead and Click on the Soul Shield piece you want to do again. Once again, let's do piece two. Click on the primer that you just unsealed that you just purchased off the Hung Moon store, or off of the uh, Dragon Express, rather. Um, click on it. Use your Soul Stones and your uh, Fusion Powders. Click this, and then you'll get a stat pop-up. Critical has been increased to 152, which is exactly what it was before. Kind of disappointing. I didn't get any different role at all. But anyway, that is how you infuse your Soul Shields. So why do you want to infuse your Soul Shields? So um, if you're a newer player and you don't know what infusing your Soul Shield does, it gives you uh, critical bonus is really what you want to be getting for these Soul Shields. Um, once you hit a certain threshold of critical, then you start um, putting on piercings and different stats like that. Or for PvP, you want critical defense on your Soul Shields. But for the most part, for uh, newer players, just to get a general idea, you want to get the critical Soul Shield primers. Um, these critical Soul Shield primers are so crucial to your DPS, your overall DPS. 10% um, increased chance of, is about how much crit chance increase you'll get for infusing all of your pieces of your Soul Shield set. Um, and a 10% increased chance of crit is probably about a 10% DPS increase because um, you'll be going from 40% to 50% crits and your crits do double the damage. So a 10% overall DPS increase for relatively little money is super, super cool. One more thing to add is that these uh, Masterwork or these Soul Shield um, bases, these Soul Shield bases are only going to be craftable by Soul Wardens. So you're going to have to take up Soul Wardens on one of your mains or your alts um, to go ahead and make sure you can get these Soul Shield primers. But anyway, guys, hope you found this video useful. Um, if you did, please leave a like. Got a lot of great stuff on the channel. So um, I'll see you at the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.